I am going to be making a chocolate tart and it's going to include candied ginger and ginger liqueur. It's gonna be delicious and it's going to have a pretzel crust base, which is extremely simple to make and it's gonna have that wonderful salty element that's going to play right up against that dark chocolate. So the very first thing that I need to do to get my crust started is just smash up a bunch of these pretzels. It's just regular old pretzel rods. You can use the twisties, you can do gluten-free pretzels, whatever it is that works for you. So what I'm gonna do is just take a big Ziploc bag fill it up with pretzels and smash them with my rolling pin. You could also put them in a food processor, but what fun would that be? Now I'm guessing here because I'm looking for a cup and a quarter of smashed up pretzels and I honestly am not sure how, how many pretzels it will take to get to that volume of crumbs. So I'm gonna start here and we'll see what happens. Looking for a cup and a quarter, and that is about right. So I did smash up too many. I'm gonna save this because pretzel crusted chicken is delicious. It's another way that you can um, use up kind of any leftover crumbs that don't make it into your tart. So I'm gonna set this aside. Now I'm going to stir into my pretzels. Quarter cup of brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you want, but I like the deeper flavor of the brown. Also going to add in a little bit of honey for some sweetness. And then six tablespoons of butter, all nice and melty. I'm just gonna stir this into my pretzel combination. It smells like heaven. I don't even know if we need to make the tart. Just eat this. Okay. I have my tart pan, it has a removable bottom. I'm just gonna pour my crust into here and then just press it along the sides. This is super easy. If you aren't comfortable baking and you wanna make a dessert that is something of a showstopper, this is the kind of thing that you will feel very comfortable doing because it is super easy. It doesn't require a lot of technical knowledge. You can see I'm just pressing this into the flutes of the pan. Do try to make it as even as possible. I'm just gonna blind bake this, and what that means is that the filling has not been put into the tart shell quite yet, and what that's going to do is allow it to crisp up before we add in our chocolate ganache mixture, which is going to be delicious. We're gonna get moving on the actual chocolate filling of our tart. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finely chop 10 ounces of dark chocolate. You can do milk chocolate if you would like. It's entirely up to you. I like it really dark. This is 72%. And then I'm going to scald some milk on the stove. So I'm gonna get started with the chocolate right now. My chocolate is chopped. And now this is heavy cream, and I want a cup and a quarter or so. I'm just gonna take this over to the stove and get it up just barely to the boiling point. I'm gonna come back and pour it on top of my chocolate. And what the cream is going to do is it's going to melt all of that chocolate. What I'm going to do now in this smaller bowl is mix together the other ingredients that I'm gonna be adding to my ganache, and that is two eggs, a couple of tablespoons of ginger liqueur, and then finely chopped candied ginger. Now you can play around with these flavors. You don't have to do ginger. In this particular tart, you could add bourbon instead of ginger liqueur. You could add absolutely no alcohol at all, if that's what you'd like. You can add dried fruit, you could add nuts. Just kind of play around with it as a blank canvas. Okay, my eggs are thoroughly mixed. Here is that ginger liqueur. And then I'm going to finely chop some of this candied ginger. It's delicious. If you've never had candied ginger before, it takes the 
kind of bitter and very spicy aspect of ginger and kind of tones it down and balances it against this wonderful crunchy sugar. It's really, really tasty stuff. add most of this to my egg mixture. I want to make sure that I don't overwhelm the flavor of the chocolate because this is a very, very strong flavor. Now, get all of that chocolate and cream mixed together. Have you ever had a truffle? This is how you make truffles. You make ganache and then you just form it into balls. That's all you have to do. But you could use the same idea of flavoring truffles with things like bourbon or any kind of liqueur that strikes your fancy, dried fruits and nuts, all that yummy stuff. All right, so there we go. It smells amazing. Now I'm just gonna add in my eggs. I'm just gonna fold this in until we can't see any streaks of egg left. Pour this into our shell. I have my oven 350. I'm gonna pop this in for about 20 minutes, then we're gonna pull it out and let it cool. Heavy cream, because this recipe needs more cream. I'm just gonna whip this by hand. I'm not gonna add any sugar, because there is enough sweetness in this tart. You can see we're at nice stiff peaks with the cream now. Tart is nice and cool. And now is the fun part, get to enjoy. This is incredibly rich, so choose the size of your piece at your discretion. You can see just how dense this is, gorgeous. I'm gonna dollop this with just a bit of whipped cream. And there you have it, dark chocolate ginger tort. A lot of flourless chocolate cakes get kind of dry or really dense. And this, because of the eggs, it has a lightness to it, but the flavor is really rich. And that ginger just comes right through. It's delicious. Thank you for joining me in our sweets episode in our best of season. I will see you next time.